soon as Rikis was born, I said to myself, I will give him everything I know, everything I have to make him the best athlete he could be. I give a lot of credit um, uh, to my dad who kind of trained me since I was young. He used to put uh, 14 pound weights in my little baby carrier and let me just walk around the house. So he was, uh, he had the master plan from the beginning. I was uh, part of the relay team that represented the Ivory Coast in uh, 1996 in Atlanta. Uh, we made it to the semifinals. It was quite a great experience. I think uh, you know a lot of my athletic genes I got from him, and then the brains I got from my mom. So they were uh, they were a good combo. Yeah. You know, I saw Rick Mazon play when he was in high school on tape. Everyone was talking about this guy that he was just bigger, faster, stronger than everyone. And I'm always intrigued when I hear about these type of athletes too, these outliers. And it was really like kind of significant for me when I found out he was also getting recruited to play college football because then the interest kind of peaked a new type of level for me because then you're thinking about a next level athlete. Like, is the game of lacrosse going to be able to keep a guy like Rick Miazon? He was, he was pretty good in lacrosse um, and he was, he was well known in lacrosse. The quick change of directions. I like the I like the speed. I like the the, 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 the dodging. I like the team aspect of it. Uh, but if you ask me, I will say, you know what? Stick with lacrosse. But eventually, things changed. Uh, I was originally a soccer player and lacrosse player in high school. Around my sophomore year, um, I really started to like fill out and gain a little bit of weight. It kind of got a little difficult to run around the soccer field for 90 minutes uh, at like 2.15. All of a sudden, one day he comes home, he said, Dad, I want to play football. I said, Ricky, you must be out of your mind. And I had to actually um, convince my dad. I had to write him a letter because he didn't want me to play. He wrote a letter to me. He explained it clearly that uh, he has gotten injured in all sports he partook. And I said, okay, just, just one year, because that's, that's, that was the promise. He said, I played just one year, so that when I go to college, I could tell my friends that I played I play some football in high school. Um, and I said, okay, that's a good deal. You know, once I got him on board, uh, I went out there, and it was actually the first day um, I was out there, we had um, some combine testing and you know, doing a bunch of 40 and three cone drill and broad jump and they had a couple schools out there and after I was done, one of the VTech recruiters came up to me and was like, hey, you know, we're gonna keep an eye on you and that was my first you know, time really thinking that like, you know, college football could be an option. Uh, it was a battle. Um, of course, I didn't want him to get injured and frankly, when I saw him play football, I said, well, you know what, it's not bad. You just go ahead and play. <laughs> and then after his junior year, the, 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 the letters start coming from all over the place. And I said, oh man, I'm in trouble. <laughs> so that's where everything started. It, lacrosse kind of got put in the, the rear room year for a little bit. Um, I was really looking at UNC, but my coach came in and asked me one day, like, hey, what would be your like dream school? Um, and I told him, is Stanford. I've watched him play major division one college football in the Pac-12, which is a power five conference. I've watched him play when he was in high school. I think that his athleticism, his strength, and his brute force is going to penetrate every time he steps on the field, it's gonna cut through. And I think the first thing people are going to say when he gets off the bus and when he steps on the field, if you don't know who he is, who is that guy? He's strong, he's, he's fast. But what I like about him is that he's a team player. Um, 
Was Ricky uh, naturally gifted? Was he a hard worker? Was he both? I think he was both. He was naturally gifted, uh, and uh, he's, he's quite a hard worker. <laughs> Uh, so I know that he would transfer all these skills, what he learned from football, uh, what he has done previously in lacrosse to UVA. After five years of football at Stanford, Miazon is finishing up his collegiate career playing lacrosse at Virginia. And he could, uh, he could end up being a key piece in the Who's quest to win a national championship. So yeah, having gone through three, now three recruiting processes, I definitely wanted to keep this one like low, you know, kind of low key. And because after five years, I kind of knew what, you know, knew what I wanted out of an experience. I knew the programs I wanted to be in and definitely I wanted to come back home. In the back of my mind, it was I wanted to come play for, you know, my home state and come to UVA. and. Uh, you know, have my parents come to every game, and I know a bunch of people from high school who are there, and guys on the team already. So it just seemed like the perfect situation. And I'm, I'm very excited to, to, to see him playing lacrosse again. And, and I really enjoy watching him play lacrosse, so I, I kind of want to see that at the collegiate level. You know, I remember when uh, Ricky was getting ready to go to, um, when we dropped him at Stanford. I've always told him, Ricky, uh, you think you're ready, you think you're ready. You are not ready until I put my stamp of approval on you. People may say a lot of good things about you, but I'm your dad. <laughs> so the day I put my stamp of approval on you, you're ready to represent not only us, represent the, the community, represent everyone you work for. And it's amazing how many parents are speaking uh, good things about him. So I know that he, he's ready that he will have a good impact on uh, the next trip. You know, first of all, I gotta get to school and like, you know, just get my legs back under me and my, <clears throat> my stick back. And um, right now it's more, I'm just focused on the next year and a half and, and uh, you know, bringing a national championship back home to, uh, to Virginia.